guys, Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today I'm going to do an Ikea haul in prelude to my next video, which is going to be a desk and art station for my daughter. With back to school coming soon, there's lots of things that I need to pick up to get us organized and ready to go. So these organizers have like this little metal piece that fits over the ledge of your bed. We're actually just going to put a ledge on the wall. And in it, it's got one big pocket and then it's got these two little pockets. I feel like it'll be great for all of her pens and markers. We bought two of these, so these are also going to go in her art station that we're doing. They were really inexpensive. I can't remember the exact price, but I think they were in the $5 range. $5.99. Oh, Zep says they were $5.99. So. Okay, so the next thing that we have are these two stools. So if you want to give a close-up, they can kind of see what they look like when they're done. Called the Skogstas. They're solid wood. They kind of have a farmhouse style. I haven't decided if I'm going to paint them or not. And I will show you what they look like all put together. These are also for the art desk station. And Zeb will do a time lapse of that for you. These were $19.99 a piece, and they were so cute and super sturdy. So I think they'll go great with our little station that we're building. All right, guys, so now for my Mary Poppins Ikea bag. Some of the stuff I use for business, some of it's just stuff that I use around the house. So one of the things that I like to always pick up is their Tupperware. I use the big ones for my house, and then the little ones I use for stain, glaze, mixing up a sample amount of milk paint because they're really inexpensive. So when I'm done, I can just throw them away. Next, I have wooden spoons. I thought these would be really cute with the rolling pins that Zeb made me in my crock. So I've got two wooden ones and then this is for chopping up meat. We actually didn't have anything good for ground beef so I'm pretty excited about this one. I think these were about $1.79 a piece so pretty economical. Next we have straws. These are not work related. These are just for baby Jack. He likes to have his bendy straws in his drink and his fat straws in his smoothies. He's pretty spoiled. Next we have the 79 cent rags, I pick these up every time I go. I usually cut them into like four or five pieces and we use them as lint-free rags to stain things as well as um, if we're applying glaze or anything like that. So anytime we need a lint-free rag, if this is our go-to, we cut it up, good to go. Also, if they're not been used for work, if I make bread, I like to use them for that too. Next, we have pot holders, not work-related. Ours are just gross, so I'm gonna throw them out. Got those. And then this, Ta-da! Is um, a scrub brush. I think it's like in the dollar range. And these are great when you're cleaning furniture and you have lots of nooks and cranny and grooves. You can use this to get all the gunk out. And for about a dollar a piece, if you need to go through a few, no problem. Last but not least, I have my nightstand chocolate. I like to buy this chocolate and then keep it next to my bed. And when I've had a really long day painting or taking care of the kids, I grab some chocolate, a little piece of my dark chocolate, and have myself a little mama break. If you don't have one of these Ikea bags, they're like 99 cents. They are great for the beach or the pool. They're, they hold a lot of towels. We have a family of seven, so a small beach bag just doesn't work. It's also great if you do markets or anything like that, you can haul all your small items in it. So be sure to definitely pick up two, three, or a dozen of these. I hope you enjoyed this Ikea haul. Be sure to stay tuned because we're going to show you how we assembled our stool and what it looks like when it's all complete, as well as the receipt for the haul. And then in the next couple of days, we'll get our video up for the art craft station in my daughter's room. And then on Friday, we're going to be doing our question and answer. So put your questions below that you want us to answer on our live YouTube video and be sure to tune in Friday at 10 a.m. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.